And News 4's Nick Fogart is out there where the festivities are underway. Nick, what's happening? Gordon, the library is right behind me. We've got balloons, we've got a brass band, we've got politicians making speeches, all the trappings of an opening. Most of the 650,000 volumes are now inside the library. The last of them just got here in a pretty unique way. They were passed hand-to-hand -hand along Flagler Street. We have some tape of that. Uh, the first volume that I saw go down was something called Dolly's Mixture. That was not particularly symbolic, uh, but they were passed from Northeast 2nd Avenue along to the library here at 101 West Flagler. Perhaps 700 people were in the line uh, passing it along, and the last one which is about to go in uh, right now if we come back live we have a shot of the uh, the runner who's about to take the last book in and that's uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas's River of Grass the uh, book about the Everglades the runner here is about to take it up uh, to the library with us now we have uh, Ed Kilroy who is the uh, head librarian here at the main library Mr. Kilroy what are people going to notice? How is this going to be a better library than the old one? Well first of all we have a much larger facility we're going to be better able to uh, have more complete uh, research facilities. Uh, we have a computer system which is going live this afternoon for the first time where people will be able to access our materials very quickly. So we feel that people are going to be real pleased with this. Regular hours start tomorrow? Regular hours start tomorrow. Today we're open till 5 o'clock. Tomorrow from 9 to 6 and Sunday from 1 to 5. We'll be open regularly starting on Monday. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Thank Kilroy. You. All you bookworms, you have a new place to come with lots of volumes in it. I'm Nick Bogart live. Back to you now in the studio. Thank you, dear. <laughs>